Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. It's Friday, April 17th, 2020. For those of you who are celebrating Orthodox Easter, I want to shout out uh, to all of you who are celebrating Happy Easter, as I am too. Okay, now, um, let me just quickly talk about the ego as the ego is like, ego, the ego is always around, right? It's always like that continuous beggar who doesn't, who doesn't like, you know, who doesn't stop, right? Always in a state of demand and seeing love, you know, wanting love in a state of charity. Love is charity for those who are eternal beggars, right? But actually, if we look at it as love is the emperor, is the king, it's the king of all kings, is love, right? All the, the kings in the deck, the emperor in the deck, the queens in the deck, they're all love. They're all the love that requires nothing. The ego only understands the language of taking, whereas the language of giving love is that of which gets to, that's how you get to be the king and empress and emperor. The kings, queens, and empresses, right? And emperors. So keep that in mind. It's very important that we understand that people who are continuously wanting to take are driven a lot more by the ego than those who want to give more, right? It makes sense, doesn't it? All right. Let's get started. This is for Friday, the 17th of April. Again, knowing that timing is, is different for all, as is our journey. Um, take it, take the reading as you will, if it applies to you or if it doesn't, okay, at this point in time. All right, so I did see the high priestess at the bottom of the deck, and now here she appears as the keeper of secrets, right? Holding the secrets, the treasured secrets, too. It's not just bad secrets, right? She holds the key to the mysteries of life, right? Knowing is part of of the high priestess, knowing, having that feeling, going with your gut. The people who are, you know, tarot readers like myself, others who are um, highly intuitive, which we all are, but this is a person who has, who has achieved going to make decisions through a center of knowing what is the next step, you know, going with, going with the flow, do, just using your emotions completely. That's the high priestess, okay? So whatever decisions in love we have going on here, how beautiful is this? In love, you need to go with your heart, go with your emotions, Love comes from the heart when it's the true love, right? The true soul counterpart. Knowing that that's where you're going to find your happy place. That's where the center of love exists. In your emotions, see? Deep within your emotional, your emotional depth of your body, within your body. So, if you're making, if you're needing to feel your way through 
a relationship. That's what is being said, asked of you right here. Kind of just go with the flow in terms of how you're feeling. These are feelings. This is all water. These are feelings. These are two, two swans looking, soul counterparts looking at one another, knowing that their heart centers are joined together, right? Just knowing that you're connected right here, okay? So I don't know what that means. The connection's real. A message of this connection is coming in. So this is, um, wow, this is going to be freedom to speak your truth, right? But freedom to speak your truth from a place of your like intuition, your gut. You're going to spill your, I don't know, I'm hearing spill your guts. So someone's going to spill their guts this weekend to you. Someone's going to come out and tell you how they feel. I don't see anything that's going to be like, it's not going to be something that comes out of the blue, but let's keep going. It, it, there is blue here. It could be, but let's just keep going. It could come out of the blue. Yeah. Because <laughs> I said it. Yeah. I think so. All right. I love it. Some kind of profess, profession, profession of love, profession of love. Those who profess their loves, I said profession. So it could be a psychic. Some people are going to get a reading this weekend that could be profession, the, their profession or who I am, right? But hidden knowledge, hidden love is here. And that is going to now be spoken with the Knight of Swords coming in. And it is going to be said. It must be said. Right? Like the truth will set you free. Someone wants to work on a relationship. So that's what it's going to, that's what the message is going to be about. Right? So this message is going to be talking about the depths of one's feelings, hidden hidden feelings that have surfaced that is surfacing professing your love. I've had someone I've had this professing of love before for sure and now in addition is going to plant the seeds for like the future. I want to work on planting new seeds. Let's work together right? The pearl. Someone sees your worth. The pearl is here. Someone knows that it's worth working on because here's the mother of pearl, right? It's a pearl. So someone's working on this. It's Saturn, It's but it's depicted as a pearl. So, and it falls into the whole realm of the moon and the stars and the emotional depth of truth. Someone's going to come and profess the love. Look at, and here's a bird. Can you see? So hold, hold on. Let me move this up. There's a bird right there in the corner here. That's, that's a message, right? A little birdie told me. So the message is coming in from either like a third party source or a friend of a friend telling you someone told me a bird, I'm getting a message either from yourself or from another that someone is going to profess their love to you or the profession of a psychic is going to tell you the same thing like I am here. All right, let's keep going. Wow, this is interesting. Yeah, and you've been waiting. You've been waiting. Someone's been working on, on getting their enough gusto, right? Working on, working on getting enough strength, power, power of, right? Working on, work, waiting and working on their 
presentation, how they're going to present themselves in bringing this information to, to the surface. Someone's been working hard at, I don't know, you could be looking in the mirror and, you know, and you've been like working on your presentation, right? How are you going to bring it? How are you going to, how are you going to bring this to the table, right? So someone's been working on it, rehearsing it, lining it all up to bring it, to bring it out. We have a King of Pentacles. We have a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So now we do have a King on the table. And this King is definitely one who believes in the giving of love. Because the King, this King of Pentacles, is all about the devotion from, from giving and receiving love from the heart. This king does give from the heart. Very generous, mind you, as well, right? When this king wants to be generous, it's like off the charts generous. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Not all are generous on the same level. Obviously, we are all different uh, beings that give, but usually a king of pentacles is one who is all about devotion and giving and receiving love. And this is what someone wants to tell you. So this king of pentacles may be coming in to, and has been getting enough, right? Getting enough, making headway, rehearsing, you know, what they want to say, coming in with the information of professing your love to someone who you believe is your soul counterpart, and it's been like kept hidden for a while, right? I'm going to get one more card. Hold on, one more. This one's, I'm going to take these two. I'm going to also tell you that this king is going to say, I've been hurt. I've been really hurt. I've gone to the depths of pain, and I want to kind of tell you about it. I, I'm hearing the Adele song, Hello, It's Me. Hello. So someone's had some pain in a, right? Someone could have gotten divorced. Someone's coming in to tell you their story. It's been hidden. It's information that you had no, you didn't know anything about. You had no idea about this. Someone's coming in to tell you or a psychic has already told you, like myself, who's coming in. More, I see myself as more a spiritual guidance counselor, but in nonetheless, this is a message coming in about a family that may have split up. I mean, let's look at the bottom of the deck. What is it? And now a wish is coming true for this King of Pentacles. I've been through a really rough ride and now I want to come and profess my love to you. And this is a wish for someone to, and I want to start a new life with you. Wow. We had the King of Pentacles with actually the air sign. We had the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. So you could be dealing, and we do have the swords here, right? We have a lot of swords here. Or water. It could be anyone, actually. Okay? Someone is professing their love, their undying love to someone that they want to really work at making this happen, at making this their future. Wow. It's it's something that they've been wanting for a, a long time. Okay. Let's get a couple clarifying cards. Just let's get three. Okay? Three cards for this reading. Who is coming in as the king of coins coming in mustering up enough energy to profess their love to someone who they've been wanting to do. Look at 
So someone, this, this coming out, this is coming out. This is speaking their truth and humbly so. This is the King of Pentacles. This is the King of Pentacles who's saying, I really want to try and work. I really want to make this work. I have humbled myself. This is a humbling experience. There's no doubt. A divorce, lessons that have been learned, an apology. I don't see, I don't feel the apology as much as I feel like humble. I, this king has been humbled now, pulled into this, his center, his center of, as well as being very, very um, aware that, um, of what he deeply feels inside, you know, they're very psychic. So the hidden love that someone wants to work on right now is coming out and it's going to be professed very humbly in a humbling way. Okay. And someone saying, you know, do you want to work on this with me? Do you want to take this, this opportunity with, to work this out with me? It's a choice. It's a decision. So they're asking, someone is asking to make this happen. You know, professing your love to another. I love you. Let's work on this. I love you. Let's be together. Um, you might not even know that this person is actually in love but this person's heart is hurting yes well uh, we we see it here right we see that someone has been hurt deeply and has been trying to heal from a heartbreak that looks like because it came out it looks like it's a family situation so i'm thinking it's a divorce someone's heart is still trying to mend like still on the mend but humbly wanting to reach out to someone that they've always wanted to be with and say let's let's change our lives up right now life's too short we have two fives here we have a five here and then we have the three and the two so we have we have the yeah so an ending has happened. Someone wants to profess their love to someone who they've been wanting for some time. And it's a wish. And this may, you may not see it coming. Let me just take one more. Yep. Someone became, someone learned their lessons. They've gotten wise to their wise and using their emotions now to move forward. Using their emotions to say, this is what I want. I'm stronger now. I've learned from my mistakes. I humbly bow. Will you please, you know, be with me, right? Someone wants to offer, yeah, and there's the celebration, okay. Someone wants to offer their cup of love to someone else. You could, you could, and humbly so. So mind you, this is a humble gesture. Someone's been mustering up enough energy to come out with this message. It could come from someone else saying, oh, did you hear so-and-so? They're divorced. Or, and they may be calling you. Or this person is the actual person that has been heartbroken and their wish is to be with you and they're going to humbly profess their love to get you and to start something new, start a relationship. So this is obviously not for couple a couple's reading. This is for those who are single. 
And maybe you have been waiting or you didn't, you kind of were hoping that someone would, kind of hoping something like this would happen for someone that you've been thinking about who's married, right? Let's get a card. Okay, this just flew out. Phases and cycles. So the magic that's happening right now under this last completion of the full moon in Libra, which we saw before, and I'm going to say it is full moon in Libra. I feel that it happened whereby the magic of, of a new beginning, um, the, the information coming out is, is or has come out. There's a beginning with every ending, exactly. And illusions are being revealed and released. So this is a reveal, for sure. And the release is what someone needs to finally do. So something came to an end. The magic is no more cycles. We're not, we're not continuing this phase or cycle we've learned. That is magic. It's magical because we knew it had to end. We knew that it couldn't continue. We knew that you know when when someone is in a situation where it's com continuous and it just has to end because it gets to be with every... It's like an, you know it's an illusion, right? The back and forth. That becomes like this isn't real. This is a relationship that needs to end. So something ended for a new relationship to begin. That is the real deal. Divine alchemy, holy amethyst. Yes. So that's what's happened. Alchem alchemizing, which is taking a phase and cycle that continuously goes round and round in repetitive motion that isn't healthy, which is usually toxic, yes. It's things that are hidden that people don't know about. Those are toxic relationships. If that is a secret, someone's been keeping a secret that they're in love with someone else. So this had to end in order for a new beginning to start. Um, Divine Alchemy, Holy Amethyst says, move beyond current challenges and focus on what you desire. So the message is, and I'm going to pull one more because I, I like Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Um, the message here is someone has become very wise to how they're feeling about what they really want in their life, right? They've, they've wised up to stop the continuous repetition of cycles and phases that have not served them well. And they're getting out of that and wanting something to, they want to profess their love to someone who they have, they are humbly bowing to that they've wanted for a long time. So this King of Pentacles looks like he's the one who is going through this heart lot this heart this loss life force see so Seren sereno says express your divine passion sensual and sexual pleasures are released so someone's coming in to say i want you i'm in love with you i want you we have we have not only do we have this this connection is stronger than just the passion you see the colors of purple, lavender, white. All of this is divinely connect. This divine, this connection is divine and is being guided. That's why the crow's there. That's the magic of the moon phases. It could be the next phase of the next full moon. But I think the full moon ended something so that this newness of professing your love to someone is happening now with this King of Pentacles. All right. Have a great weekend.